flashbacks to this this Xbox 360 which had an interest it had it was a first person shooter but with a twin stick control method so one stick made you, you aim one me? stick made you kind of pop in and out of cover Let's get a shotgun because uh, I would normally play with a rifle. So it makes a change. Can we get into the? Can we get in here? Climb. I think climb. I already mentioned that I found Harden in this very, very saloon. saloon. Shoot him! Shoot him! Okay, now a shotgun is going to do us good here. Um. Yeah, you know you can't beat me. Suffice it to say. Nobody there was happy to see me. It's a shame that there's no um no peeking. this. Ah, uh, we'll get a sawn off. Here we go. There he is. In fact, I felt a certain hostility. Pushed him into the side of the wardrobe. What right into the you? side of the wardrobe. Come on, fuckeroonie. Hey, I shot the son of a bitch. And I shot you back. God damn him. I can't jump over the side, unfortunately. Right, you ready? We're gonna run downstairs. Inlaid six shooter. Oh, nice. Get out of here. Uh, I like it. I like it. Let's go this way. Into the back of the whorehouse. What's this? Hold still. Got some ammunition. Sawn off shotgun. Some guys lounging around by the bar. I was disappointed that neither Bob nor John Wesley were among the dead. But that was short-lived, as a moment later I was facing down the fastest gun in the West. Who's going to shoot me quite quickly and shoot me dead with his card hat. First kill at 15. Killed a man for snoring. 40 more for breathing. Killed a man for snoring. Good lord. Oh, you can understand his position. I felt a bolt of adrenaline. Or maybe that was fear. He was well known for his tricks. And I knew I'd need my own if I was ever to defeat him. Oh, I don't know what no, that wait. was. He didn't hit me then. I'm sure of it. Oh, interesting. That's really interesting. Because I saw that text. I didn't know what it said at the bottom of the screen. Okay. I'm moving my left hand closer. Always go for center mass. Don't go for trick shots. What was that big drill?
Okay. Oh. That man was faster than Grease Lightning. But being inebriated as he was, he didn't count his shots. And now, he was at my mercy. What? So he didn't die? No, I sent him to prison. <laughs> Years later, after he was free, some restless Avenger took his life. Shot him in the back in a saloon just like this one. Anybody up for another beer? Ben? Is that because I missed him? Is that because I missed him or because... That's what actually happened, according to this guy. Because I'm crap. <laughs> Interesting. Being pissed and not counting your bullets. Thank you, darling. Yeah, some say revenge is a dish best served cold. So whatever happened to that Bob guy you were after? <laughs> Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Like, uh, I don't know, do you ever go toe to toe with a red man? Grey Wolf. Yes, I did, Ben. I remember once I was after this renegade Apache, Grey Wolf. Bum, Strangely bum, enough, bum, bum, bum. revenge was also his primary bum, bum, motivation. Bum. Good graphics. Bum, 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 bum. Dances with Renegades. Silas Greaves pursued dangerous outlaws like John Wesley Harding. Hardin? Hope a green crosshair indicates a neutral or friendly person. Why would you want to kill them? A bounty was put on Grey Wolf's head, and that's how I came to hunt him in the mountains. Mountains so high they tickled the nether regions of heaven. <laughs> Long time ago when a man far, far away. Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during his daughter's sacred sunrise ceremony. And the slaughter was unspeakable. I understood his anger. As there's nothing more traumatic than seeing those you love die in a cruel and painful death. Hmm. Oh. That's weird. I thought that was just kind of a nice... That was interesting. A nice kind of cutscene. But it's actually the game. I, lo I love this kind of terrain. America does have fantastic forests. Um, especially, it seems like places like Virginia or Kentucky or around Portland, those nice big green clouds that hug the hills. An amazing uh, continent, as I've said before. Spectacular, although I don't have the same emotional reaction to it as other people do. Right from the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. He led a band of young Apache warriors who wanted retribution and were more than willing to die for him. I've been reading... Well, I haven't been reading. I saw this little snippet on the internet about something called the First Law or something. Or the Prime Law, which I think was... a group of Native American tribes got together and kind of came up with... a set of laws of conduct, and that might have influenced the, the US Constitution. But I, I don't know... It's, Literally just, excuse me, kind of a bullet point I read. Um, but I do actually have, gosh, what's it called? I don't have it to hand, but I have a book by um, a warrior or a person who was part of a tribe called the, the I think the Nez or the Nez Pierce, the Pierce Nose, French term, in America. And um, this is... 
his story. I think it's like his autobiography or his notes from the time. Because this tribe used to... It's a shame. I thought that book was here, actually. My bookshelf next to me, but I can't see it. Um, but basically, this tribe used to use buffalo skins for their tribal history and for their art. And the the Nez Pierce, I guess you'd call them in, in English. And um, what happens is that when the settlers came in, they started killing all the buffalo. They killed hundreds of thousands of them. And so basically, this tribe's canvas had been taken away. So they started using the stationery that the settlers and buffalo hunters used. They basically used the kind of invoice books that the buffalo skin traders used. And so that's how they kept their history going. I, I, I actually got it from a library. Oh, excuse me. This is very pretty. I actually got it from a library uh, in America. Um, I bought it on eBay and it turned out to be from some library in, in the US, which I thought was kind of cool. I don't know if it's a library from the same area that they were from. Um, but I will try to find it for the next episode and I can tell you what the the title is. I'll read you the, uh, the description. I'd love to live by a place like this. As long as I had good plumbing and running water and access to food and fast internet so I could chat to people online, I wouldn't need much else, I don't think. But that's always a problem. I'm not going to get fast internet in these places. They saw me before I saw them.